Making sense of complex sentences, conjunctions unveiled. Hello learners! Welcome back to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to dive deep into the world of complex sentences, specifically focusing on how conjunctions play a pivotal role in structuring these sentences. By the end of this lesson, you'll be a pro at crafting and understanding complex sentences. Let's start with the basics. What exactly is a complex sentence? Well, a complex sentence is one that contains a main clause, or independent clause, and one or more dependent clauses, also known as subordinate clauses. The main clause can stand alone as a complete sentence while the dependent clauses cannot. They rely on the main clause to make sense. An example of a complex sentence is, while I enjoy painting, my sister loves playing guitar. The main clause here is, my sister loves playing guitar, and the dependent clause is, while I enjoy painting. Now, where do conjunctions come into play? Conjunctions are the magic keys that connect these clauses. There are three main types of conjunctions, coordinating, correlative, and subordinating. In complex sentences, we mostly use subordinating conjunctions. Subordinating conjunctions, such as, because, although, when, while, etc., introduce a dependent clause and connect it to an independent clause, creating a complex sentence. For instance, in the sentence, I went to bed because I was tired, the subordinating conjunction, because, connects the independent clause, I went to bed, with the dependent clause, I was tired. Creating complex sentences is all about practice. The basic formula for a complex sentence is subordinating conjunction plus dependent clause plus comma, if the dependent clause is at the beginning, plus independent clause. Here's an example, although it was raining, we decided to go to the park. Although, is the subordinating conjunction, it was raining, is the dependent clause, and, we decided to go to the park, is the independent clause. Remember, the dependent clause can also be placed at the end of the sentence without a comma. We decided to go to the park although it was raining. And that's a wrap on complex sentences and conjunction usage. With a good understanding of conjunctions and clauses, you're now equipped to create and comprehend complex sentences. Remember, it's all about identifying the main idea, the independent clause, and supporting it with one or more dependent clauses using the right conjunctions. Happy learning, and see you in our next video.